Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the two against the Overlord campaign Operation Ancient Stranger. An extremely powerful and dangerous alien is guarding the facility and who else could that be other than the Berserker Queen. So let me just double check. One thing that is less known about the Berserker Queen is uh, that mine shields counter her quite hard to be precise. If you do have a mind shield, she is very likely not going to stun you, and that in itself already takes away a lot of her abilities. Add on some decent armor, and she can't do a lot. And Hogbite with uh, his parry will be more than a formidable match once she is actually shredded. The guy who shreds XQ6 needs to have a mind shield as well, and I figure Trojan uh, for being in melee. Could use a mind shield as well. With that, we are diving into the mission on an attempt to uh, get rid of uh, the Doom Timer because we are yet again on a clock. Unfortunate. All right, we landed. <clears throat> Let's take a good look. So. It is an on-timed mission, hence we will take all of uh, the time in the world to get to the right place. Got a little uh, shed here. I could provide some high ground. On the move. Sam, our uh, medic, will help us. We got a zapper. Position Let's bring on. them to the front as well. Hogbite most certainly will stand at the front. Keep in mind, we're likely going to run into that uh, Berserker Queen. So I want to be a bit careful not to overdo it. Going to brace. All right, let's see what the game is going to throw at us. We got a lot of jungle here again. Bit of a tighter... Um, a tighter planned structure, but we're going to be fine, I think. This here would be a good position. But before we are conquering it, let's actually head out. And we are taking the right side here. Okay. Hogbird moves in, XQS6, um, takes the full cover, we're going for high ground soon. In the meantime, double move, uh, which will automatically brace, and some more front line. Okay. We're getting there, slowly but surely. This is a new tile set. It's an interesting dynamic because you can't like directly see the it. And it provides a bit of cover. Not a lot, but a bit. Good, moving up, moving up. Um, I think this here is one of the smartest positions. Hogbite moves up as well. Yeah, and we're just going to run and gun uh, with Trojan if need be. Spectre and the Mutant, I think we can take them. <coughs> No overwatch trap here because the Spectre has lightning reflexes, but the Mutant 100% hit. That could actually work well for us. So let's give it a big fat go. Fantastic crit, I like it. Oh, 
Okay, good. Well, um, <clears throat> let's start with a Spectre up here. 50 50. If we can remove uh, the uh, cover, that would be awesome. And I think a decently placed uh, plasma grenade will help us achieve that. Very good. That could already be a kill. Thanks to blue screen rounds, Spectre gone. Very good. Running and gunning. I'm on it. By the way, run gun um, gives you just a little bit more mobility. So in case you wonder why wouldn't I have just moved normally, because we were just one tile short. Kill from an ambush. That's good. Um, hot bite, Overwatches, Overwatch, and Overwatch. All right. Our big problem is. We were not uh, yet running into the Berserker Queen, so she could be wherever. And we do not have a scout left. Hogbite moves. It's going to be our new scout. Moving into half cover. Um, moves over to here, brace, and we're good. Yeah, I don't want to stand in that middle pole. Careful overwood from all sides. I'm deliberately not moving in too far. I want to first fix our positioning, uh, get proper fire lines on all of uh, the guys, and then we're moving in. There's nothing worse than having a split formation, and then you're being caught in a rotation, and that might lead to casualties it's really like with every uh, strategy game, you want to have a really solid formation to begin with. And once you do have that, the rest automatically or near automatically falls into place. Should have brought a battle scanner. Oh wow, can you guys see that? That's not even the Berserker Queen. It's the Archon King. Oh gosh, gotta hate that. Okay, so, hmm, I do have an idea though. And well, that's a bit, uh, that's going to be a bit tricky. He's just barely away from us, but thankfully if you're bracing, uh, you extend the side just a tiny bit, which is a fantastic ability. So we're going to lead the target on this guy. And now, reload Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. And let's shred him before... Oh, 90% shot misses. Miss. 
Miss. Hogbite is the only one to uh, actually hit, and well, that's a bit tough. All right, suppressing it. Good. Um, how about he's coming a bit closer? And we're just placing a defensive mine here. It's a free action. We do not have. We do not have uh, the ability to do a lot of free actions yet. The axe comes into play once we shred him. Starting with a grenade, which will trigger his reaction. There's another pack over here. Careful, careful. I want to deal with them. There is the devastation that will hurt us. There's really little we can do about it. Yeah, all three will get hit. Free throwing axe. Doesn't trigger any reaction from him. Okay, we're in range, which means he will get reaction shots as well. <sighs> Sucks. Alright, shredding him further. Yep, there's the and there's the damage. Okba took extra damage. Don't like that. Okba will retaliate. Thanks to Blade Storm. There are going to be more retaliations. There we go. He will be picked up. Well, not him, but that was, uh, that was almost a pickup. Mm, not quite. We do have an execution here. Potential execution. Let's go for it. It's a hit, but not an execution. Good, we currently can't see him, which is a perfect time for an overwatch, because that will not trigger. Then suppression. Even more damage, okay, cool. Summons the gate. Some more damage. Unfortunately, he dodges. And unfortunately, our Overwatch did absolutely nothing when he was trying to escape. Good, moving over here because we need uh, healing next turn. Yeah, well... That was a bit of a sh show. Part of it was not being prepared for the right uh, chosen um, alien ruler. Sorry. Good to go. 
Okay, well that will take a lot of days to get uh, back into the Met Bay. I can already see grievous wounds left and right. And to be fair, I mean out of six overwood shots, five were missing. Doesn't necessarily help the case too much if that happens, right? I don't want to make excuses, but part of our poor performance also stemmed uh, from the inability to overcome uh, his dodge. Well, so far we're good. We know there's another pack over here. Um, hmm. Good question. Giving up high ground for better shooting angles is not the worst idea. So that whole fight here just uh, took a lot of our cooldowns. And now is a good time to A, regain the cooldowns and B, wait until the fire dies down. I'm trying to put the sniper a bit more on top of the roof. Got lots and lots of reload. Uh, we know there's a pack over here, so we're soon going to engage with that. The fire apparently is not dying down, but is actually increasing. Okay, well. There is a tower over there. Okay, cool. I have to wonder, could we hit it from here? No, we can't. On the move. Moving out, does that trigger? No, it does not. Okay, interesting. Good, there is the tower. Seems doable. Yeah, I can't really move uh, forward. I can tell you we're just taking the easy out here, which is kill the tower with a grenade. Okay, I know there is a second one top right because we've seen that when the Archon was triggered. Location okay, I'm still hoping that the fire dies down. Game froze there for a second because secrets are coming. Well, hello there. Oh, shotgun snipe. Love it. Okay, sectored soldier. Starting to set him up. 
and Hawkbite knocks him down. There we go. Uh, not cashing in momentum at the moment. I think we'll just overwatch. And go a tiny bit back. Alright, I think XQ6 can move to the front line. Matter of fact, Hogbite over here. Positions himself in a little bit better position and XQ6 leaves high ground for the first time, takes his old position. And somehow spots a tower that Hawkeye couldn't see beforehand. I'm on it. Moving to Overwatch. I'm on it. Affirmative. Covering now. Move closer. There is the turret. Interestingly enough, no line of sight. Well, Hawkeye just goes over here, I suppose. But I think does not trigger overwatches. Yep, uh, which means this here should be easy enough. But of course, we're triggering additional enemies, such as snakes. I tell you what, we're just going to kill it, and Hogbite uses momentum to be outside of any range. and lots of overwatches. Okay, so far things are looking good. Let's kill the snake and the Archon seems to be downstairs. Good, we're parrying here. Overwatch, reload Overwatch, 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 and Overwatch. Let's see what the Archon does. Potentially comes out, blazing pinions over here. The other pack has not triggered yet? That is hard to believe. Has 
Okay, well, fair enough. Don't want to explode anything here if we don't have to. spotted out by them I want to stand in a very good overwatch position just like that and let them come good hit appreciate it Okay, Deadly Marionette, uh, that's a new one. Good hit. Fabulous. So wait, he's du duplicating the Mac? It's a bit of an odd ability, isn't it? Good, for starters, let's get up here. going to take uh, the first parry. Teamwork over. Into a kill. somehow mm -hmm. so wait we could kill move here maybe even here and get out right one to six relentless Once per turn, gain inert movement after killing an enemy with a turn ending melee attack. Okay. But that's not a hundred percent, unfortunately. This here is good, decent chance to actually uh, hit them. need to deal with the mech as well. Starting to remove as much cover as possible. Still no line of sight. I hate standing in the open, but there aren't many enemies left. Oh, wow, well, okay, well, I got tricked. In which case, we're just moving into cover, of course. Starting to hit the mech.
And that's a decent enough chance to just get it down. Okay, it's more dangerous than this guy. But luckily Trojan um, with a hair trigger just made it look easy. Good, we're moving down. We do have one parry, so we should be fine. And advanced scope. Looks good. Moving, to let's move already. moving closer into a shooting position and let's see what the Archon is going to do. Uh, that was not a clever turn. In which case we're just going to scold the Archon for trying to hit us. Parry, which will eventually lead into a Bladestorm Retaliation. We're moving down. We're hunkering down here just so that we're a bad target for the Archon. And full overwatch. Hogbite can take care of him solo. Good, even disorients him very well. Might be a kill here. No. Fortune is not smiling upon us today. A lot of missed shots actually in this mission. Cool. Well. Finally we got everything in order. Everybody moves into the evac zone. End of turn. There's still alien activity, which means there is a tower left somewhere. But I couldn't care less. We have done our job and we're getting out of here. Even got some decent loot. Not the perfect mission. It was a bit sloppy to fight against the Archon King. Yeah, well, it is what it is. Whoa, good fight, good knock. At least our Doom Clock is gone. Tepcat and I can sigh in relief as we're no longer on the Doom Clock. The problem is uh, the Archon King might come back, but he is now shredded and will await his uh, mm, proper retribution. Gravely wounded 15 days. Ugh. That does not look good. Advanced scope on the other hand is good. Six weeks without the Avatar project, that's good as well. And 15 days even with a guy assigned here. Mm. Oh boy. Well, it is what it is. Good, we've officially destroyed that tactical analysis. Super, super uh, mm, helpful, but we're getting the supplies first. Then we're going to build a resistance tower and try to conquer North America because technical analysis, good. Dragon rounds. Experimental ammunition. We have so many cores, I'll just put another experimental ammo in there. Might get uh, the ammo penetration that I was looking for.
So let's see. I mean, we need to get down here for the further facility. We still have the black side facility, which is good. I mean, that's an option for us. Two facilities over here. Just, just based on uh, the logistics expanding to here and then having both of them available for us is the right call. I hate to do it, but let's install radio relays and start getting a bit closer to the actual next facilities. We now can uh, get the resistance order for immediate uh, contact, which is great. And I would say... I would say we're putting in the infiltration of the stronghold. It's not bad, but uh, it'll be, it'll take some time, 16 days to be precise, Mo almost take the entirety of this month, but at least we can then uh, go and uh, hit the Warlock. But in the meantime, there is a darker VIP mission, and I'm pretty sure Tepcat will need to help me on that one. Uh, are we going to put those guys um, into into the improvement XQS six? Let's see, it's available, so Tapcat might need him. We do have still too many wounded soldiers, so yeah, no bond improvements there. In terms of building items, we're missing Elarium. This here would be great. That wouldn't be bad either, but we're missing the Ilarium. Yeah, I should have searched for the black market, but okay. It's a bit late now uh, to be sorry about that, but the black market could at least give us access to Ilarium. And Elarium will help us to get the other weapon upgrades. Commander. It's okay. Not the end of the world. We do have enough supplies to at least build a mimic beacon. That would be uh, that would be a good alternative. Just a get out of jail card. Uh, so yeah, overall good, uh, which means I'll hand this over to Tapcat and uh, thank you for your viewership today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you all in two days. Bye-bye, guys.